Hi, it's Candy. Welcome to The Art of Planning, where we plan on purpose, pretty, and powerful. And I'm going to show you a binder that it's the first time I have ever used one of my binders in this particular way. It's a focused binder that I'm using only for the work that we are doing on the new house. So it's it's not a planner. I'm not using it to schedule things. It is only for the work that we're doing on the new house. Now, also, um, I'm, I am using this particular binder. Um, it's the Aurora, the Vintage Classic Aurora. I don't know. I don't remember the names. You guys know I'm awful at that. But I'm using the same binder, three different colors, but three of them right now, which is really kind of weird. Here it is in the teal. These were released like late fall of 2017, I think. Here it is in the teal. This is my daily to-do. This is like what I live by. I'm using one in the red also. This is the fun one. I just got it all worked up inside. I'll be sharing that with you later. And I'm using the black, which I've had for a while. Again, this is specifically devoted to what's going on at the other house. It's kind of how I'm living my life right now too, but how I'm keeping that end of my life altogether. Now, I I was not really, I, did, I thought I could do this without making it all pretty and cute inside. And for some reason, I just couldn't get that done. So I sat down real quick and I put some page dividers in place and I made some some little, um, oh, I guess these are my page dividers and these are just the, like it would be month dividers in that I do in the other ones. Okay, I know I'm stuttering around right now, but let me tell you guys, I have started this video about six different times. I'm not starting it again, so I will try to not ramble, but I'm not going to start it off again. The page, I just like these little pockets over here being kind of cute, so literally I just cut some rectangles and just put those over here to make them cute. Let me show you the working part of it though. Here in this zipper pocket, I have some things that I consider right now the way I'm using them. This has helped keeping me together. These are just business cards, and they are of places where we are looking at granite. So I am writing notes. Like when we're first going and looking at things, I'm writing notes on the back of here, and then I just tuck those right here in the zipper pocket. That allows me to get home with these notes and then put them where I need where I need that information to be. So I keep those in here. I also keep a six inch, a little six inch ruler in here just for a lot of different reasons. I keep mechanical pencils in here too because that's what I work with a lot are my mechanical pencils. Then I've shown you this in other videos, but I love it. It's that little Coletta highlighter. I get it off of Amazon. I have linked it in other videos. I will link it in this video. I have about four of these around the house in different places. I usually keep a pen in there, although, I mean, that's no big deal to me. It always helps to write your name on your Coke styrofoam cups, though, when you get to a place where you've got five or six different cokes around. That's what a pen's helpful for. So, and then I have some little stick-on dots and different things in here that are actually useful and functional. This is kind of pretty. It's more functional, okay? So, here is this first page. Um, and then what I did do is I put a week at a glance. I did get some week at a glance calendars from Franklin. Okay, so if I haven't said it, I guess I just always think that anybody that's watching my video knows Franklin Planners Classic Size. I am normally a day on two pages girl. In this, since this is not my working calendar, this is my home planner. I got a week, a week at a glance. So I've got Monday through Sunday. It breaks up days, and then on the weekend, the, the bottom part of the week end, the Saturday parts on one half, the Sunday parts on another half. So I just wanted to, this is really for meetings with my, our contractors, like our electrician, um, the guy that's going to be doing a lot of 
the painting type work. So that's strictly what this is for. So here is this kind of week. So we had meetings with contractors today. Um, and I know what I need to do here. So to, to show you more how I use this. Okay, so I've got, you know, again, I've got the the part of this that is weak at a glance, then the way I'm really using it. So, part of this is just general house info. I have got my Pinterest pages really, really full. I have got a lot of them marked. I think it's secret is how you do it, though. They're, I just didn't make them public pages right now. Um, there's a reason for that. I'll share it with you later if you are interested. So, this is... You know, again, just, I started making these pages, making these notes, taking this stuff. I, I don't know if I've shared the journey about this house, but it kind of went from pause, 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 to all of a sudden, like, run out the gate with it. So, we had probably seen it, like, two hours total before we purchased it. Um, we were handed the keys yesterday, and now we get to go look at it and do stuff with it. So, this is... This is general information just right here. And I know that because I know it. I do not have tab sections. I don't have written stuff like that. I just kind of have it divided like I know it's divided. Okay? Always subject to change. Anything I do, always subject to change. Okay, so here's a, here's a divider. This part I know is for a person that's going to be doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work there. So I make all of my notes that's going to be concerning him. And we have questions for, and he will tell us how, and he's getting paint colors and swatches and all that. So all of his information is right here. Okay? So anything I have questions for or anything he needs he has questions for or whatever, all of his, all of that stuff is here. This for first part of his, is his. When I get to this one, this is for the electrician. So, that's electrician things. He's, both of these gentlemen are so on top of stuff, they've got things all together. Okay, right now, I have in here more little page markers that I do. However, you can see that what I could do is put, again, more business cards, any notes they give us. Um, let's say that they're giving an estimate on doing some more work. We could put estimates in here. I mean, I've got this puppy arranged where it is useful, okay? Any quotes they give us, whatever, that can go right in there. So in addition to being a little page marker, it's also fully functional. Okay, now we get past the electrician, and then here is here is me. These are my notes. Again, a little pocket. And then I just, when we came home, we spent the afternoon, several hours this afternoon over there, I just thought I want something else in here that didn't have to be a page but that will grab my attention, that I can put notes on of things like I need to be able to do and then check off. So, here are my two options, and I'm still thinking about this. I found these in my stash, and it's a little set of sticky notes that are sticky on the side, have check marks on them. And so what I did is I took apart some of those and just punched them on the side to fit into here. Um... They blend in a little too much. I don't know if I'm going to end up liking, like using that or if I'm going to end up like tearing some of these sticky notes off, hole punching them into my classic Franklin. I'm not exactly sure which way I'm going to go on that, but I want something in the front of my general section that's going to tell me that we will bring back next week a kitchen apron sink or farmhouse sink or whatever that I, I can look for now. I can look for the kind of light fixtures I want hanging down from what they're going to totally open for me. So these are, as we do and as we plan and as we get them and bring them home, um, I want to be able to do, check things off. We haven't been able to do that so far, but now we can actually get some of the things that we want to put in place. These are still ideas that are forming and that we're thinking about and that we're looking into and at. So that is 
that is mine right there. Um, this is more general information, but actually just more paper that I can play with. And then we go to, it's kind of a, a step two of what we'll be doing later. Um, so these are ideas for, you know, step two. And actually, what can we do step two? So um, right now we've got some things. Actually, the house is moving ready, really, but... Um, we have some things we want to get accomplished and then other deals I want to take some more time and look at and think about and decide what we want to do so this are things we know we want to do later and then we still need to think about things that we want to do later and then as we get back here this is things about our house, the things that we are in right now. Like if you've watched the video before this, it's on planning and purging. So what I'm doing, what we are doing right now is purging. Now, we thought, I don't have nearly enough notes back here. What we thought was we would kind of take our time, do the work that needed to be done at the new house while we just did a lot of purging here. Because as you know, we accumulated a large part of another home when my parents passed away a year ago. Um, we haven't really gone into a lot of that yet. So we were going to kind of take our time as we moved out. We have kind of decided not to do that, that we may move more quickly than we originally had planned. So in all of that, I think we're going to put the gas on over here a little bit more and move much more quickly. With that being said, that changes game plans a lot. So um, I don't know that there will even be too many notes back here about our house. Um, I think all we have to do is just light a match and start faster as we do things here at this house. So yes, I will video those so you'll see a lot more purging. But I wanted you to see how I dedicated a planner to something other than planning, scheduling, um, doing everybody's everything everybody has going on in their life and putting a time frame to it. So this is more about using a planner to keep my act together in one specific project. Um, it's been very, very fun. It has kept all of those things from running around in my mind. It's put them onto a paper and I can live like that so much better. Um, what I would love for you to do, if you've been th through this process, give me a comment. Something that will help me, something that will, yeah, some little hint, some little tips, something that will help me either be more focused in moving out or that will help me as we are kind of redoing a home and moving into. Give me your best tip or technique or just leave some sort of comment. I love hearing what all of you guys say. I feel that way we can kind of talk to each other. So my Franklin classic size and I do have the system and I really do like the week at a glance on here. I wouldn't like it for my total only planning system but I do sure love it for you know just being able to look at the week and see what's going on and uh, give me a general overview I do like the week at a glance system for that so that's been fun to work with also because um I'd never worked with that so as always Franklin gets a thumbs up for me for sure so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed you can do that and you'll always get a notification whenever I release a new video um, I appreciate you guys tons thanks for watching and spending some of your time with me share the video with a friend um, maybe they'll enjoy and get something out of it leave a comment love that and 
thumbs up if you have time to go over there and click on that little thumbs up. You guys know how much I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Bye.